With the off season finally here, this is when I start doing videos like the one I'm doing today, where I tell a story about a player or something of that nature. Telvin Smith was a phenomenal linebacker for the Jacksonville Jaguars. He was part of the famous defensive unit known as Saxonville. However, we've not heard from Smith since 2018. Well, football-wise at least, as I'll get into later. So, what happened to Telvin Smith? But before I get into this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel, as all support is very much appreciated and helps me more than you can see. Now, let's get right into the story on Telvin Smith. Coming out of high school, Telvin Smith was a four-star recruit and the 11th ranked outside linebacker in the 2010 high school class, and then he would commit to Florida State. He would play four years there, but he barely played as a freshman. He carved a role as a sophomore and junior before finally becoming a starter in his senior season. Telvin would play well in the time he was giving, boosting his name and game in his scouting report. That lone senior season as a starter was Telvin's best year as he made second team All-ACC and really put his name on the draft boards. He then declared for the 2014 NFL Draft, where he would hope to hear his name called on one of the three days. Scouting reports had Telvin projected as a day two pick because he only really played his senior season. More specifically, he was a third round pick, according to the scouts. But the Florida State product would end up being drafted on day three in the fifth round of the 2014 NFL Draft by the Jacksonville Jaguars. He would immediately become an impact player, getting over 100 tackles in his rookie year. Smith would continue to get better as a player, quickly becoming a great linebacker, having over 100 tackles every season of his career, along with a few pick sixes to add on a little spice. However, no season compares to 2017, where he was a pro bowler and a second team all pro on the second best defense in the league, known as Saxonville. That season in 14 games, he had 102 tackles, one forced fumble, with two recoveries and one of those being a score, and three interceptions, which tied to lead all linebackers, and he had a pick six on top of that, as well as a 79 overall PFF grade and a run defense grade of 87.4. It is crazy how incredible he was that season, and the postseason where Jacksonville would go on to the AFC Championship, thanks to Smith, Ramsey, Campbell, and co. Tevlin would lead the postseason tackles by 13, despite losing the AFC Championship, even though that is far in the playoffs, and it seemed like Saxonville was going to go on for many years to come. Well, as we all know, this defense would come to an end very soon, and Saxonville did not go on to dominate for years to come, as I just said. After the next season, and through an Instagram post on May 9th, 2019, Smith stated that he would take a year off of football to concentrate on family and his health. This decision came after team executive Tom Coughlin called him out for not going to voluntary workouts. There were also many attempts from head coach Doug Marone at the time to get in contact with Smith, but even after the Instagram post, he was never able to get in contact with the fifth-year linebacker. Telvin was just the first piece to go. Almost everybody got traded or cut from Jacksonville within the next year, year and a half. It really was crazy how many transactions there were from that defense that was just dominant a year ago. So it seemed as if Telvin made the right decision to potentially retire given what happened at the Saxonville defense, and maybe he didn't want to be in the rebuild. Maybe he would come back and try and help the rebuilding Jags, or just try and get traded. Who knows? I mean, you want to take the year off, we'd find out after the year. However, as we know now, none of those things happened, and Telvin Smith never came back to the NFL. You're probably wondering, why did he never return to the Jaguars? He received a few offers to play, but he stayed true to his word and denied them all. In an Instagram post in January of 2020, he said he did not want to play for any other organization besides the Jaguars. And in another post coming soon after that statement, he spoke about the loss of Kobe, and at the end he said, Ain't no way I'm letting another five go like the last five. I refuse. Basically saying that the first five years of his career were tough for him, and he needs to retire from the game as a whole, not just take a year off. But... This isn't the only thing that happened during his time off for the former linebacker, and is most likely the reason why he never returned. Just a few months after the 2020 Instagram post, something terrible would happen to him, or he would do something terrible, I should say. On April 29th, he was arrested in Florida 
on suspicion of unlawful sexual activity with a minor based on two occasions that happened in 2019. It came out that he tried to pay the girl hush money, $200, to keep quiet on their first encounter, which was August 27th, 2019, and the other encounter took place in Telvin's car sometime after. Telvin really needed time to get his world in order, as he said in his retirement post. By order, he meant order in the court. Telvin would be released from jail on bond for $50,000, but charges were pressed and a case was to begin soon. And he would originally plead not guilty in May of 2020. After over a year of this legal trouble, the case would finally be resolved in May 2021. Smith had pleaded no contest to the accusations, and a plea deal was in place with the prosecution, where Telvin would get just three years of probation for a charge of third-degree child abuse, as well as restraining orders. He's unable to see women under 18 that are not in his immediate family, and thank God for that. So that answers the question of what happened to Telvin Smith. He wanted to take time off to focus on his family, his mental and physical health. Ended up not caring about his family or life and broke the law and paid some consequences. He had a career ahead of him, with most likely multiple Pro Bowls to come in the future, as well as a lot of money. And he threw it all away with a dumb, illegal decision that could have cost him even more than he already had sacrificed. For more details on the case, there are many articles you can read from April and May 2020, when it first started, and May 2021, when it was concluded. And with all that being said, that is it for me, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Fanatic Sports. If you made it this far into the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, as all support is very much appreciated. Helps the channel out more than you know. Also, follow me on Instagram, at Fanatic Sports 25, and on Twitter and TikTok, at Fanatic Sports, which are all listed right here. This is Joe from Fanatic Sports, signing off.